Breathing secondhand smoke at work is still a reality for 39% of the workforce. More than one in three non-smokers who live in rental housing are exposed to secondhand smoke. The American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation work saves lives. We work with partners on the ground to educate communities. Our education efforts about exposure to secondhand smoke in workplaces and public places contribute to improved community health. We educate about the tobacco industry, exposing interference with the passage of local smoke-free laws. We provide decades of experience, technical assistance, and strategic direction in local and state health departments, tribal groups, and coalitions throughout the United States. Thousands of local ordinances have passed in communities with the support of our model ordinance language, training, and technical assistance. We track tobacco laws. In our foundation's U.S. Tobacco Control Laws database, the only one of its kind, serves as a key resource for researchers and media. Researchers use our data to document trends and research the effectiveness of tobacco-related legislation. The ANR Foundation has worked on education efforts for over a decade with the Smoke Free Casinos Project, attending gaming conferences, educating workers and visitors, and collecting quiet support from gaming industry leaders and employees. The American Non-Smokers Rights Foundation launched the Smoke Free Music Cities project in October 2018 to raise awareness about musicians who are still forced to work in smoke-filled clubs, bars, and casinos. It, uh, it really affects my voice. Um, I'm literally in the middle of playing it, and my voice just dies. <laughs> and I hope you choose to go smoke free. Uh, shout out to all the smoke free cities that blaze the path and already done it. Shout out to the ones that will do it. Shout out to all my fellow musicians. Uh, shout out to everybody as we uh, collectively go through these historic times. We educate the public about the dangers of secondhand smoke. We provide direct support to those exposed to secondhand smoke. Together, we're working for a smoke-free world. We're building a smoke-free generation. <laughs>